32, the new 40. There's a push in Vermont's legislature for a shorter work week. Channel 3's Calvin Cutler explains how it would work. What would it take to increase the productivity and the mental well-being of Vermont's workforce? At least one state lawmaker says the 32-hour work week is the answer. I'm just giving people more time to spend with their families. Bradford State Representative Monique Priestley is thinking about the American work week in a post-pandemic world. People are trying to figure out, um, just reassess their values and reassess how they're spending their time as their most critical resource. She's introduced a bill setting Vermont's work week for full and part-time employees at 32 hours. That's four eight-hour days or five, six and a half hour days. A scheduling nightmare, I think, but from a mental health standpoint, we have so many people dealing with burnout, especially coming out of the pandemic and remote work. The idea is modeled off of research from Europe, showing increased productivity and reduced burnout. Jay Peterson used to work in a private school out of state where they had three day weekends. It was a harder four days, but it opened up for a lot extra life to happen in the, the three days off. But the proposal may not work for all professions, like first responders, and it could lead to higher labor costs for businesses or lower incomes for hourly workers. Is that, are we now even dropping the number there to where companies are now hiring even more people at even lower hours? Similar proposals have been floated in Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, New York, Missouri, and on the federal level. But ultimately, Priestley tells me that this bill is a jumping off point to a bigger discussion about Vermont's work-life balance. Reporting in Montpelier, Alvin Cutler, Channel 3 News.